Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm out of this. In today's video, I'm going to be opening an 18 pack booster box of Scarlet and Violet. And I'm also going to be showing you what my binder looks like after opening 170 packs. So, without further scrutiny ado, let's get it. Alright, guys, so here's the binder. The special binder I was waiting for before I started the binder update. So, there's the front of it. There's a side SP1. So, Scarlet and Violet 1, which is basically the Scarlet and Violet base set. Lot. There's purple and red, so violet is the actual main color, and then the scarlet is the inside color. Zipper is also violet. This is a fresh binder, guys, completely fresh. Papers and everything. Special binder, guys, this is filling this binder up after opening that 18 pack booster box. But yeah, that's the binder, guys. And here is the 18 pack booster box, complete sealed. These, I believe, you can only get in the EU. I'm not sure you can get them anywhere outside of the EU. And they're like exclusive to post offices and convenience stores. So you might find them in your like your local, what are they called? Corner shop. Here we call them corner shops, like places where you can buy like groceries and stuff. And newspapers, news news agents. That's I guess what you can call them, news agents. There you go, so $3.99, that's per pack. So, I think retail for pack now are like £4.30 in the UK, like £4.30. So these actually kept their retail, like the lower retail value of $3.99. So I guess these could be a cheaper option if you want to go buy packs instead of paying 30 p extra. But yeah, let's crack this thing open. As I crack this thing open guys if you like these videos if you enjoy them if you stick with me through to the end I'd appreciate if you could leave a like subscribe turn notifications on for more when we reach 500 I'll be doing a giveaway for a Scarlet and Violet Elite Trainer Box yeah so without further scooby ado guys let's get into this if I can get the thing in there how does it oh oh there we go there we go. Last time I struggled with my booster box, this time I kind of got it right. Alright, so there we go. So let's get started with the first pack. Um, if it goes by anything, like a booster box, if anything, and it kind of has the same rates as a booster box, we should be looking at um, two EXs, either a hyper rare or a special illustration rare. I think two full arts and one illustration rare. I'm hoping that holds true and I'm hoping it's not going to be a double if I do pull any of those Perfect. yeah the main thing is I'm hoping not to pull any doubles so in terms of Scarlet and Violet as well after this opening 170 packs I've opened up all the products the only thing I haven't opened up is sleeve boosters but I feel like I don't even want to open those to be honest like as run like in terms of random products when it comes to Scarlet and Violet Yes, obviously it's random. You can pull good cards. Yahoo! Can we get a crowd on EX as our first EX? Yeah, I feel random isn't the way to go when it comes to Scarlet and Violet this time round. Although I say that in my last video, I pulled the best card in one single checkling blister. But again, single checkling blisters have that kind of lock for me. If, um, I feel like I think there's something in this one I was just saw a peak. I feel like booster boxes or even half booster boxes if it turns out to be true that you're gonna be getting um wait, what is it? Oh what the hell? Okay, so I still get kind of dud it dud did confused with the sparkle of the hollow. Yeah, so I feel like sleeve sleeve boosters I feel like I shouldn't even risk going for those. And I won't even probably buy enough. I mean, I mean, I guess I can buy a few, but at the same time, I don't want to, to be honest. It's like buying, I don't really normally buy random packs from stores. Like, if I see like, this booster box on the shelf, I don't pay £4 or £4.30 for a random pack. I always buy either collection boxes, booster boxes, ETBs, triple packs, and stuff like that. I never buy random boosters from a booster box. Never, never. I don't like gambling, if you can say, because it's technically gambling in a sense. And you might. 
but I thought something in this one as well. What the hell? So this half booster box is like confusing me. It's getting me hyped up when it comes to the peaking. Yeah guys, so 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 far in my last two videos, that's where my luck has been. Oh my days, my last two videos, the ETB and Timothy Clean Blisters and Triple Blisters. Link in the description down below for both of them guys. Oh my days, those were the best. Those are my two best color and valid videos so far. Homo uh, You can see the peak guys, it's a gold card, I think it's a Pokemon, judging from bottom i'm hoping i'm hoping please 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 let's go uh, again my third one i've just gone and pulled my third i'm right on here so i don't think i'm going to be pulling a spell a special illustration rare in this one since this kind of takes that slot oh man slow bro So there's a hyper rare which I'll sleeve everything anything that's a double that I've already pulled I'm not gonna sleeve till the end of the video oh damn it unless I get a lucky box because in um booster boxes sometimes I think you can pull a hyper rare and two special illustrations so maybe this booster box will give me a special illustration and a hyper rare hopefully I believe it indeed so far my skull and violet luck has been quite good I'd say my, my luck has actually been decent. Not that bad. Um, In terms of Poké Collect. Oh, did I just ruin it? I just ruined it. I mean, in terms of Poké Collect, I believe before this video, I'm on about 88%, I think it was. About, I think I was on 88%, maybe 90% complete with this set. That's not including reverses. So if we include reverses, I'm, I would say I'm probably about 75-ish, 80% complete with reverses altogether, altogether, including everything. I'm probably about 75%, 80% complete. Hoping I can complete this before Powdaya Evolve comes out. If I could complete this before Powdaya Evolve comes out, if there's no delays, should be coming out, I think, June 5th like at the beginning of June so that gives me just about a month left because we're coming up May very soon it gives me about a month to pick up singles and stuff like that but I might even open a few more after this I'm not too sure yet Go on, sure. we're about halfway through the booster box guys if you're currently enjoying the video and you stuck with me this far I'd appreciate if you could leave a like subscribe turn notifications on for more when we reach 500 subscribers I'll be doing a giveaway for Scarlet and Violet leech in a box so without further scooby ado let's get into the rest of the booster box Right guys, so 9 packs left, we've got 2 hits, an EX and a gold Coridon, I think, hold on, hold up, hold up, hold up, I've pulled 4 gold cards, 3 of them being my ride on EX, and 1 of them being uh, high 5 energy, wow, I mean, my ride on EX is probably the most expensive gold card out of all of the gold cards there are, so I guess I can take that, but man, not for Master Set. For Master Set, I mean, four cards that I'll be missing one right now. I'd be missing one because I think there's five. I believe there's five. Nest Pool, Fighting Energy. I think Lightning, lightning Energy. High five. High five. Right on, right on. Yeah, so five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'll be missing one right now if I actually pull one of each. No more, no. Spider of the X. Again, oh, the two EXs that I got aren't the ones that I need. All I need is Great Toss. Damn it. Okay, so it looks like this half booster box is just going to give me cards that I've already got or pulled and nothing. New will be going into the master set. Definitely, I should have a couple of reverses from this at least to go into my binder. But in terms of bigger hits, it doesn't matter if anything's going to be going in there. Wait. 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 Don Donzo. Do I have this one? Do I have this illustration rare? I think I do. I think I do. I'm not too sure, but this is actually a nice artwork. No, I don't. I don't know. 
feel like I do, but I'm not too sure. So there's our illustration rare. So I think we're one, two, three, four, five, six. Six packs remaining. Either I'm gonna be getting one full art. Or I'm gonna be getting two, I think. Hopefully, maybe. Definitely should be getting one full art. I just got Magnum Mike, Fifty, Youngster, Team Star Front, Pavilion, Blue Char. Cool. Like the average for a booster box is 12 hits. Right now we've got four. So we should be getting two more. I'm gonna say I have an EX, well, an EX and a full art, if not two full art for ultra rares in this case. Um, in this one, I think nope, nothing, nothing. Yep, four packs left. Maybe I'm gonna be getting a less than average, I guess, half booster box where you get five instead of six. Because if average for booster box is for obviously half, eight packs, six. Um, yeah, I could be getting a less than average. Shop it. Is this our full art? Yes, this is our full art. Let's go! Oh man, damn it. Literally, another double up. Team Star Grunt. guys looks like nothing for the master set in this part which i was actually so i mean in terms of hits yes 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 in terms of hits great but i was looking forward to this half booster box to be pulling some new stuff but i pulled literally every i think even that don i've sleeved it because i'm not too sure but i think even that don donzo i've pulled from my illustration rare so oh man cycles in terms of hits guys Again, yes, booster boxes are the way to go. Even half booster boxes, look at this. Four, five hits so far. If we get one more, I'll, I'll just ruin it anyway. High five. If, if we get one more, then it's looking like an average of a booster box or half of a booster box, which is perfect. But in my case, uh, in my case, I've only pulled stuff that I've already pulled, so. Oof! Oof! Oof. Oh, come on, give me. I mean, if that Don Donzo really is the only thing I haven't pulled, then I guess I'll take it. Plus, all of the um, reverse res that I'm gonna be getting, but I think I'm not gonna be. I think this is gonna be a five hit booster box. And boost, yep, five hit booster box, right? Alright, guys, so that was the 18 pack booster box from Scarlet and Violet. We did get five hits. I kind of, apart from one. I predicted, I predicted six hits but we got one less so i predicted a i predicted two exes a hyper rare or special illustration rare i predicted two full arts but we only got one and one illustration rare all right guys so let me get everything into the binder this is probably gonna take me an hour or two but for you it'd be like that all right guys and we are back here's the binder this actually took me about two hours i had to do two runs because i messed up on the first run so i have to do it all over again and here we have it here's the full x binder let's scoot it over a little bit open it here we go so first edition 2023 down here and then the first page is the grass types the light is just reflected there we go so let's squish it down so just from the first page only missing one reverse holo <clears throat> it's the brilliant reverse holo on the next page we've got Tropia, so I finished all of this page. And this page just missing the one taran tarantula out of the three. There's three bloody tarantulas in the set. Moving on to the next page again, missing one from this page, which is the Toad School. There's two different Toad Schools. There's our first EX. The first part of the binder. The main set is going to be mostly commons and non-commons and then you get and rares and hollows but then the special arts you could say is um the EXs which there's only I don't even know probably about eight of them I think there's about eight of them so the first one is spider ops here's the next page again missing one the cut kid which two of them as well 
then we're moving on to the fire type probably if here we are fire type i'm missing three or four is it three three so here we are so we're missing torkoal reverse crocodile reverse and armor rouge then the water types we've got slow poke we're missing the slow reverse this page is filled nice i like it here we go this is where i messed up so i forgot to save a slot because i did the regular cards first and then i did the reverses after and then i missed the slot for the magic cup and then i realized at the end i was like oh crap so i had to go from all the way to the back back to here and scoot everything over by one there's our Karados ex which is a textured one so that's the only textured ex in this set apart from the arcanine as well which did we even see the arcanine there it is so arcanine and gyarados are the only textured EXs in the set so the next page i'm missing two Broxish, Broxish and Wiggler. This page we're only missing one, that's a total. And then on this page we're also missing one, the Flaffy. It's, since you get two double um, reverse rares now, it actually makes it a lot easier. I think if it was back to Sword and Shield, I wouldn't have as many reverse hollows as I do now. So here's the electric page, missing Rotom, missing Watro. Here's our nice next page. There was a Magnazoni X right on that was the other page. There's the Magnazoni X. And then there's the one Lonely Moran and I hate that this happened, but it had to have happened for the end of the binder, which is gonna look good. Moving on to the psychics. I've completed all the psychics, I think. Maybe missing one or two. I think maybe one. Yeah, just the one. The Fido. Two. Okay, two. So Fido and Espafra are missing the reverses. Here we go, here's the fighting. So we're missing the Annihilate, the Meditite, the Medicham. Quite a few fighting ones we're missing. Riolu, Rugadal. And then we've got Pride on EX here. So actually we're missing quite a few fighting types, yeah. Missing quite a few. In terms of Darkness type, I believe fully complete. Darkness type is fully complete, yep. Darkness type is fully complete. And then the metal type, which there's only a few, only missing just a fortress in terms of metal in reverse. There's the iron tread EX, and then we're moving on to colorless. I think we're missing a few as well. So we've got missing the blissy reverse, missing the lechonk, one of the lechonks out of the three lechonks. Squover pulled quite a few as well in today's opening. I pulled quite a few in today's opening that kind of tipped me over a little bit. Missing a Tandem Mouse out of the two. There's our Uncle Uncle Oink alone. Oink alone. Oink alone. Oink. Saying that multiple times is a tongue twister. Oink, oink alone. Oink alone. And then Cyclozar, Amigo. And then we're moving on to the trainers. Or the support trainers. Missing EXP share. Missing the Judge. Missing a Miriam. This page is filled up nice. And then we got Pokemon Catcher. Missing Pokemon Catcher. Missing Rock Chest Plate. And I think this is the end of the main set. Yes, there we go. And missing Rocky Plate. So in terms of main set, not that bad. Completed most of it, I'd say. Missing quite a few. Um Hulk Collect is down, so I couldn't even actually check my actual percentage. But when that goes up, depending on when this video goes up, if the site gets re-added, I'll throw up a pop-up or something of the percentage. And then we're moving on to illustration res. This is where I loved it. That's why that Maridon. I would have loved to have done something else with it to see if I can scoot that back. So that it wasn't just a single one by itself. But I didn't do it because of this. And normally as well, I'll show you at the end why what I normally do with some of the cards like the promos. Not even the promos, the non-holo exclusive and the holo exclusives that you get in collection boxes. But I didn't do it this time just in case this will it'll mess up this part. So on a fresh page, we start with the first illustration rare, the Tarantula, Olive, Rouge, Wiggler, Condonzo, and then Drowsy. Moving on to the next page. 
missing quite a bit here this is where it gets empty-ish we got a graveyard and then we're missing all the rest until the full art here's where the full art start so we've got spider ops ex i think that's the first full art spider ops is the first one yes it is yes it is arcanan ex chase card pulled yes the uh, full art terraform one i mean i'll say is it a shiny variant or is it an alternate art variant and um, I think because of the stars and stuff, maybe shiny. A shiny variant, a shiny form, terraform, I don't know. But yeah, I'm, I'm making excuses for it being better than the regular full arts. But yeah, and then there's Gyarados EX, my second chase card. Magnus Zone EX full art. God Devil EX full art. Ride on EX full art. I would say this was a consolation chase card for me as well. The main one is the Coridon Special Illustration Rare, which I haven't pulled yet. Iron Treads EX and then the next page here's where I think the full art trainers would be so the support trainers missing four there we got professor's research team star grunt and then is my ride on the first start of the special illustration rares I believe it is I believe it is it could be I'm not too sure Not too sure, could be, but let's just say anyway. I'm ride on EX here. Glad I pulled this one. Second best card in the set, or second most expensive anyway. No, we're missing three Iron Tread Special Illustration Rare. Missing two here, and then we pulled this. This one in my last video, I think I pulled it. Yeah, in my last video, I pulled it from a single checklane blister, just the one. So I pulled an 80 pound card from a five pound pack. I was stoked about that one video in the description down below guys if you want to see it and then we got penny special illustration rare i'm gonna ride on ex gold card which i pulled three of them including this one so i pulled three of these and there's six gold cards yeah there's six so there's my ride on for ride on go with the other one was nest pool i think we can be so i'm ride on ride on nest pool something Nespo, Rare Candy, Lightning Energy, and then Fighting Energy, and then we got two spaces left. Again, I would have liked to have filled those two spaces, but it is what it is, so two space spaces there. So that's the Scarlet and Violet set, the main set, I guess, or the, the main set, yeah, with everything. Secret Rares including everything, and then from the next page, we start with promos. So the first promo is the Sprigatito. Hopefully, you can actually see that. I'm at bring it up or I might even zoom in while I'm editing let me see yep so SVPEN I think Sword and Scarlet and Violet promo EN and then number one with the promo stamp or the promo symbol so that's number one Way Coco these were from the Paldea collection boxes yeah these were from the Paldea collection boxes and then the Mimikyu EX from the Mimikyu EX box collection box if i remember right and then we've, we're missing quackovo in terms of build and battle kit stamp promos we got poor mort haolucha river room this is from the single checkling blisters spider from the spathra and this is from the triple pack blisters arcanine and Don donzo and then these are from the etbs this one's the regular one so you would get this from a regular etb this one's the stamped one. Stamp is right there, which I'll probably do an edit and zoom in. Here's the Coridon version. Let me bring it in a little bit closer. There you go. So regular word regular version and then stamped version. And then these three I'm holding. These are placeholders for the next three, because I think there's three more. I think there's one for a Cycler EX box. And then there's two um deck boxes i don't know what they called um the battle decks or whatever you call them which i think is pamphros and then there's one more i don't remember that if i i'll find it and i'll throw it up as an image like somewhere on the screen now and then this is a lechonk promo card that you got from the pokemon center if you ordered i think anything above 30 pound it's a stamped promo as well so there you go like this is where i said and now those, those are the promos but here all of these cards here that one i probably would have left at the end because it's a stamped one 
but these cards here the free cocos these are holo variants of the non holos in the main set which normally i would put alongside the main set but again it would have messed up the starting of the illustration rare page so i not add them i might add them because you think about it now there's one two three four these are the non holo variants from the building battle kits so that's four five six seven eight nine ten of them and i'm missing the quacker valve from the building battle kit which might have two more if it has two more non-exclusive um hollows then i might be able to put them in the actual main set because this is a 12 page binder so i'll be able to scoot everything across by 12 so 12 cards so scoot those over by 12 scoot these over and whatnot and then put in the 12 hollows and non hollows so yeah so i might open up a few a couple more a few more maybe building about stadiums but in scarlet and violet i don't know i think i might just buy it singly it might be better again i do want to pull a few more extra cards before i go single route so i might buy some extras maybe a building battle stadium maybe one just to see if i can pull a quack and then buy singles and then probably gonna open up another open up another booster box and um a half booster box before i go singles probably but yeah guys that was my binder progress after 170 packs i have a feeling uh, the 170 packs that open from all the, van all the various products that they have released so far apart from sleeve boosters the only ones i haven't opened is sleeve boosters i think if i opened up about five or even a case case of booster boxes i'll be even closer to finishing the master set in terms of special illustration rares anyway because you're kind of guaranteed two special illustration rares from a booster box so uh, the case is six booster boxes so that's two four six twelve you get twelve special illustration rares that's almost all of them i think there's actually only twelve of them let's quickly double check i think there's only twelve special illustration rares anyway so if that's the case and you're lucky and you don't pull doubles you might pull all of them in a single case so let's just have a quick look so how many are there so we start with let's just say we start here actually there's way more no one two three four five six seven eight nine no, there's only nine maybe ten because that might be a special illustration i'm not too sure there's only ten and you have a possibility although gold cards are actually kind of taken up a slot in the booster box as well so you might pull gold cards so let's just say you pull maybe two gold cards out of a case of scarlet and violet booster boxes that's eight no that's ten that's ten special illustrations special illustration rares you can pull which could be all of them if you don't pull doubles obviously so i don't know i'm gonna say in terms of scarlet and violet second wave i don't know if first print wave is actually sold out by now but if it is and you can only get your hands on a second wave i'd say go boost the boxes if they still have the same pull rates if they have the same pull rates and you pull i think it's what you get four EXs, two illustration rares, two full arts, and two special illustration rares. I think. If they keep it at that, then go booster boxes, guys. Buy booster boxes, and then you'll probably be closer to a master set as well if you're trying to master set, even or even if you're trying to pull the Miriam, the Maridon EX, the God of Our EX. Those three top, those are the top three most expensive cards. If trying to pull those, I think booster boxes are your way to go. Random packs like single check lane blisters, triple pack blisters, the building battle kits, the building battle stadiums, booster bundles. To me, to be honest, not worth it at all. Although my best video, and my best pulls were from the singles and the triple packs. Even the ETBs, but that, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna just because I pulled that from an ETB, I'm not gonna recommend ETBs. But booster boxes, guys, go for booster boxes. I kind of, I mean, just before the channel, I opened everything, but. If it was not for the channel, if I was just opening cards for the collection, the master set, I would have gone booster boxes. But yeah guys, so that was an 18 pack booster box opening. And 170 packs in. 
how my binder looks if you enjoyed the video if you stuck with me to the end i'd appreciate if you could leave a like subscribe turn notifications on for more and when we reach 500 subscribers i'll be doing a giveaway for a scarlet and violet elite training box peace